cupcake? Want to help pick berries? Come on, give it a try. Come on, Pumpcake. I know it's windy, but I know you can do it. See, you just had to believe in yourself. Now, I've never seen anything like that before. I knew we needed to get away from there fast. What is it, Pumpcake? Oh, it's a tornado! <laughs> Wait, I forgot my shoes! <laughs> You're right, let's get out of here! <sighs> Phew, we made it! We're safe now. <laughs> or not, just look out the window! Try to follow me, Cupcake! There, there! We'll be okay now! Right, Cupcake? Oh. Yep, we'll be just fine! to fall for that. Back to work in three seconds. Or it's the dungeon for you. One, two, three! She took care of the witch? She's incredible! Amazing! A hero! She must have been in the same storm. Is she all right? She'll be fine. We're fine too. Thanks to you. Oh, how do you do? I'm Strawberry. We're the Berry Kittens. I'm Rainbow. Blueberry here. And I'm Lemon. Woof! This is my dog, Pupcake. Welcome, both of you, to the wonderful world of Oz. And who's she? And where'd her shoes go? That's the Wicked Witch. And she's better off without her shoes. She's a mean old bully with a magic wand. The shoes! Get the witch's shoes! On behalf of the good citizens of Oz, that'd be us, we'd like to give you a token of our appreciation for saving us from the witch. They're very beautiful. But those look like they belong to that witch in there. No, they're mine. They're magic. That's why she took them from me. We want you to have them. Well, thank you, but they look a little big. Just try them on. Well... Okay. How nice. Thank you. Hey, it's the least we could do. After what you did, the witch has been bossing us around forever. We never could have made her stop. Not us. Not by ourselves. Oh, if you believe in yourself, you can do some amazing things. Believe? In yourself? You just have to believe that it's there, inside you. Look 
from the witch. Is there something we can do for you? Well, I guess, more than anything, we'd like to go home. Right, Pupcake? <laughs> We're sorry. We're really sorry. But we have no idea how to get you home. There must be some way to get back. <laughs> what have you found? It's the Berry Brick Road. It leads to the Emerald City, where the wizard lives. If anyone can get you home, he yeah. can. What do you say, Pupcake? Shall we go see the wizard? Oh. Oh. Hey, 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 come on, guys, please, not my head. It's only straw, but it's all I've got. Thank you, oh thank you. Why didn't I think to try barking? He's trying to say you could have done it yourself. Next time, you'll remember to try barking at those birds. No, I can't remember a thing. There's nothing but straw in here. No brains, you know. I'm Strawberry, and this is Popcake. And we're going to see the wizard to help us get home. Maybe he could help you too. Do you think? Can't hurt to ask. And that's how the Scarecrow came to join us on our way to the Emerald City. <laughs> and it wasn't long till we made another new friend. What a strange statue. I wonder what it's doing here. I don't think it's a statue. I think she's trying to tell us something. An oil can! Pupcake, you clever dog! Tin Woods Girl had been standing there for years and she was crushed inside. But Strawberry got her loosened up in no time. Thank you. Strawberry told her how we were going to see the wizard and ask him to help us get back home. And Scarecrow explained how she was going to ask the wizard for a brain. You can't just ask him for a brain. That's not very smart. It isn't. No! If you had any brains, you'd know that. Well, you don't have to be so rude about it. Scarecrow's right. That wasn't a very nice thing to say. I'm sorry. It's true I can be rude sometimes. Because I don't have a heart, you see? Really? Maybe the wizard could help you too. Do you think he might? We can ask. Come on, let's get going. We don't want to hurt anybody. You don't? What was that? It's just your own tail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. You were scared of your own tail? What kind of lion are you? <laughs> I'm a very cowardly one. And a cowardly lion isn't much use to anybody. Oh, I'm sure there's a big brave lion inside there. You think so? Because... I sure don't. I know so. Ah! Strawberry told the lion where we were going <laughs> and invited her to come along with us. We thought our wishes would soon be granted, but we found out it wasn't going to be so easy. <laughs> Where are 
are my silver slippers. Yes, Pupcake. He thinks we're nearly there. Ark, ark. We're going to be okay. As soon as we see the wizard, he'll help all of us. Ark, 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 ark. All right, Pupcake. We're coming. Ark, ark, ark. Whoa. Wow. It's... Glowing. Sure is lovely. Wow! It's the most very beautiful city I ever saw. Ark, 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 ark. Come on, everyone. <laughs> Come on, monkey. Let's get me out of these sneakers and back into my magic slippers. Ah, there they are. Come on, faster. Not much farther. Aha! The silver slippers. Ark, 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 ark. Give me those shoes. Ark, ark, ark. Ark, ark, ark. <laughs> wow! Hold on. Easy now. Where are we going? Ah! Don't land in the mud. Cupcake, you saved us. We're coming, Cupcake. Oh. Oh, not again. You can't stop me that easily. I want those shoes now. Quickly, everyone, run. <gasps> You've been very clever so far, but let's see you find your way out of this one. I don't think I want to see this. Where are we? How did we get here? What happened? I don't know. It was the witch and her magic. Don't worry, we'll find a way out of here. Do you really think we can, Strawberry? I know we can do it. We just have to believe in ourselves. You can help us, can't you, Pupcake? You can sniff out that road. He smells something. <laughs> Listen, it's the... Not so loud. Shh, we can't let her find us. Let's hide over here. I know you're in here somewhere. <laughs> okay, everyone, it looks like we've lost her. But now we're kind of lost, too. We gotta find a way out. Follow me. Get out of here! We're doomed! Doomed! Doomed, I tell you! You know what? I'm starting to think you're right. No, we can do this. Remember? We just have to believe. The trouble is, I'm not sure I do believe. Not anymore. We can do it! We have what we need inside us. And now's the time to use it. You're smart enough, you're brave enough, you've got enough heart. We're smart enough, we're brave enough, it's time that we start. Now's the time, the time is now, we're gonna show what we're made of. Somehow, now's the time, no time for doubt, time to show the world just what we're all about. 
If one of us could climb that tree, we could find a way out of here. Good thinking, Scarecrow. I'll do it. That's the spirit, Lion. Just watch this. Look at her go. Can you see anything, Lion? Not yet. I see something. What is it? Is it good? Ah! It's the witch, and she's headed this way fast. What a catastrophe. We're doomed, I tell you. No, we've gotten this far. We'll be all right if we can just think of a way to stop her. I think I have an idea, but no, my ideas aren't very good. Ah! <laughs> She's coming! Scarecrow, tell us your idea. First, we polish the tin. What does it matter how I look? We don't have time for this. It'll work. Just you wait and see. Let me help. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Hurry! Aha! There they are. I'll put a quick freeze on them. Here comes the witch. On the count of three. One, two, three! Oh! No! We did it! Amazing! All right! Hooray right for us! <laughs> now, if we could just figure which way is out. It wasn't long before we found our way to the Emerald City and right to the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Who are you, and what do you want with the wizard? Huh? Um, uh... This wizard had some explaining to do. It turned out he came from someplace else, too. And because he was scared of the witch, he pretended to be something besides just a kid. But who's going to give me a brain? And me a heart. And courage for me. But don't you see? You already showed you have plenty of courage and heart and brains. We did? You showed what's inside you when you stopped the witch. He's right. Polishing the Tin Woods Girl's tin was a very smart idea, Scarecrow. It was an act of genius. It was awfully brave of you, Lion, to climb that tree. It was positively heroic. And you showed how much you cared about your friends. And that proved how much heart you really have. They all realized it was true. It was there inside them all along. They just had to believe in themselves. But what about us? We still want to get home. And you can, anytime you wish. Oh, and who are you? That's my friend Glinda, the good witch. Oh, how do you do? Very well, thank you. Didn't Rainbow Berry can tell you? Those are very magical shoes you're wearing. Magical? Just tap your heels and you'll be home. How very wonderful. I do want to go home, but I'll miss everyone terribly. <laughs> well, guess this is goodbye. We'll all miss you. Cupcake too. We'll never forget you. Me neither. It was time to leave Oz. Goodbye. See ya. Goodbye. And with a tap of her heels, we were on our way home. What a windy day. You can sure say that again, Custard, my friend. Okay, what a windy day. A very windy day indeed. And just what precisely exactly is that? Hey, are you okay out there? When I open the window, you slide down. Goodness, what happened? Are you all right? Well, I've been blown miles and miles, of course, and the queen's going to be furious, but otherwise I'm just fine. I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and this is my friend Ginger Snap, 
And this is custard. And that's Pupcake over there. I'm Sherry Bobbleberry, FWFPFC. Fairy World Buried Princess First Class? Fourth Class. <sighs> and after this, oh, I'll never make First Class. What happened to you, huh, Sherry Bobbleberry? I was on an errand for the Queen. Very important errand, mind you. Delivering a gift for a baby hummingbird. I, I speak hummingbird, you see. N not many do. <laughs> Then the wind caught me and blew me out of the berry fairy fields and all the way here. Problem is, it was a sort of test. The queen doesn't think I'm ready to be promoted. Don't ask me why. <sighs> I don't think we have to ask why. I'll never be a fairy first class. Oh. I'll never get that tiara. Sounds like you need to have some more faith in yourself. Oh, I forgot. What a goof! Oh, how could I forget? Forgot what? Up, up there in the mountains! The snow is melting and the river's rising! Water everywhere! There's gonna be a flood! Have to get back! Have to warn! <gasps> but I can't! I'll just get blown off course again! The whole very, very world will be flooded! Oh, what a useless goof I am! We could help her get back, couldn't we? She could show us the way. Do you think, Strawberry Shortcake? What if she gets us lost? She needs our help, Ginger Snap. <laughs> oh, how far are the Berry Fairy Fields? They're just past Buttermilk Forest. Then we hang our right at Jelly Bean Hill. Or is it left at the hill, right at the forest? Or just past Rock Candy Canyon? Um, you do know where you live, don't you, Sherry Bobbleberry? Of course. Right this way. Huh? Hmm, maybe not right this way. You said you speak hummingbird. Maybe you could ask her. Well, you know, I only sort of speak it. Sort of lot or sort of little? Sort of, don't know. See, no fairy has ever spoken to the hummingbirds before. I'm just trying to learn. Maybe now's a good time to give it a try. Guess it couldn't hurt. I excuse me, little hummingbird? She said, the berry fairy fields are right over Gumball Bluff. Just a little farther. We're almost to the top. Just a few more gumballs. Ugh, yep, I can see the top, I can. You can do it. We made it. We're at the top. Sherry, we'll find a way out of this. We're all okay. Looks like the storm's letting up, huh? For a while, anyway. When the snow melts, it's gonna really flood the berry fairy fields. How much further is it? It's right down at the bottom of this hill. You can fly, Sherry, but it's gonna take us a while to get there. Maybe. And maybe not. If there was something we could use as a sled, so you could slide down the hill. Got it! I'll build a sled out of what we have here. Come on, give me a hand. That ought to... Uh, do it. Is it gonna hold together? Only one way to find out. Climb on, everybody. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> We made it! Woohoo! What a sled! Do I know how to build them or what? How do you stop this thing anyway? No, I forgot something.
Mary, Ginger, what happened to you? What happened to us? What happened to you? Either the berries grow awful big around here or... We shrunk! You have to become smaller to fit into my world. Come with me. Oh, my goodness! Wow, would you look at that? Huh? Amazing, huh? Look! More pretty fairies! And just look at all the creatures helping out! No one from your world has ever been here. You're not supposed to even know about it. Sherry! Sherry Bubbleberry! Oops. Sherry, where are you? That'd be Fairy Most Berry Fairy Chief, Perry Winkle Pear Blossom. Sherry Bobbleberry, where have you been? And, and, and who are they? These are my friends. I, I brought them here after they... You brought outsiders to the fairy world? That's against the rules! But they helped me, Periwinkle, to get back so I could warn everyone about... Rules have been broken! The Queen will be told! Oh, please, Periwinkle. Not that! If she knows I goofed again, I'll never get promoted! I'll never get my tiara! But you have important news for her! <laughs> Fourth-class fairies don't talk to the queen! It's against the rules! Only I talk to the queen! What am I going to do now? Don't worry, Sherry. We'll think of something. What if you warn them? One by one, what's about to happen? Do you think I can? I mean, I'm... Uh, excuse me, please? Oh, I'm such a goof. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta have some faith in yourself, Sherry. But I wouldn't know where to start. Why don't you start with them? Okay, I'll try. Excuse me. Excuse me. Go on, keep trying. Excuse me! I have to warn you, there's a... Oh, it's just Sherry. Don't pay any attention to her. Such a little goof. Please, you have to listen. It's important, it's... I could do it. You can do it. I know you can. And I know I can't. Everything I touch turns into mush. Every berry that I pick, I crush. Each balloon I hold, it pops. I pick up a plate, it drops. Everything I touch turns into mush. Everything I touch turns into mush. All my best laid plans, I have to flush. I am such a gawky goof, why should be more sherry proof? Everything I touch turns into mush. I'm an accident, waiting for her turn. I'm unsafe at any speed. If they gave out a prize, the only one I'd earn would be most least likely to succeed. <sighs> Everything I touch turns into mush. I put my finger in the dike, it starts to gush. I'm so clumsy, don't you know? I could trip and stub your toe. It's enough to make a fairy blush. Turns into mush. But there's so much good I'm longing to do. Such wonders I want to achieve. If only I could change, be somebody new. But for this faulty fairy, it's so hard to believe. Everything I touch turns into mush. Lady Luck has given me the brush. What could I be doing wrong? Who can help me sing this song? Tell me, am I asking all that? and turn into mush. What's that, Strawberry? An invitation to a royal party for Her Royal Highness, Queen of the Fairies, on her birthday. It says everyone in the fairy world is invited to bring a gift. Sherry, I think I found the answer to our problem. Really? Fairies of the fairy world, you may now present your presents Do you think 
she can pull this off, huh? Do you, Strawberry Shortcake? I sure hope so. Next! Next! Your Majesty, I... I... Bobbleberry, where's your gift for the Queen? <gasps> Go on, Sherry. Well, I don't have one. But I do have something I... <gasps> I have something more important. What could be more important than a gift for the Queen's birthday? My warning! You see the creek beyond the field? Beyond the field? But fairy fairies are not supposed to go there! The wind blew me off course and I... <laughs> Why should the Queen listen to a fourth class fairy who can't stay on course? She should listen because Sherry has something important to say. Go on, Sherry. What's the point, Strawberry? She wants to tell you the creek is rising and there's going to be a terrible flood. And you saw this with your own eyes, did you? Well, no. Not me. Not exactly. <laughs> you see, Strawberry? Hopeless. Sherry, come back! Periwinkle? Of course, Your Highness. I was just going to suggest that. The flood, Your Highness, is coming closer and quickly. It's spreading over the fields even now. Oh, not again. Don't try to scare us. There's not a cloud in the sky. We saw it too. If you don't get ready now, you're going to be in awful trouble. What should we do, Sherry? We can dig ditches and build dams and keep the water out of our homes. Can we do this in time? With all of us working together, yes. Maybe the hummingbirds can help too. Ha! <laughs> hummingbirds. And I suppose Sherry will ask them for us, eh? Yes, I will. As your highness knows very well, no fairy can talk to hummingbirds. <laughs> <laughs> this is a waste of her highness's royal time. Sherry can't talk to. <gasps> hum, 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 hummingbirds? Sherry Bubbleberry. Tell us what to do. We have to protect the city. Come with me! We have to build a dam here. Good and high and now. And a ditch here, a deep one. We need sandbags here, here and here. Not gonna work in a million, billion, trillion, zillion years. <sighs> Your Royal Highness is getting her royal self dirty. Oh, quit 
talking and help us, Periwinkle. That's just what I was going to do. Bobbleberry, I hereby proclaim you FWF PFC Fairy World Fairy Princess First Class. You got your tiara, Shiri. You did it. I did, Strawberry. I did do it. When the wind blew with great force And a fairy named Sherry Bobbleberry Was blown away, of course What a fateful air it proved to be As the makings of a flood she'd seen So she sailed on the sled to the fairy, fairy fields To warn all the fairies and their queen The legend of Sherry Bobbleberry Fairy princess, fourth class Would she save her queen from a flood so mean Would safety come to pass? But in the fairy world of the fairy vines, no fairy would believe her. And the royal queen of the fairies herself refused to even receive her. So she flew to the belly of the floody, muddy beast, and her friends helped build a dam. But when that was not enough, she wasn't bothered in the least. It was a chance to prove who I am. So she flew back to the queen, saying, now see what I mean, and together they all stopped the Flood. They followed Sherry's lead, the queen herself took heed, her name was now no longer mud. The legend of Sherry Bubbleberry, just one intrepid lass. From now on, oh, she'll be known as a fairy princess. First class. <laughs> hmm. Look at this! The Berry Prairie Dude Ranch is looking for workers. It says they need a ranch hand to help run the bunkhouse for two weeks this summer. I'll give them a call and see if the job's still open. <coughs> Orange Blossom can take care of you two. Hello? Berry Prairie Dude Ranch? I'm calling about your job. Tickets! Tickets, please! Good morning, miss. I know I have it around here somewhere. Here it is. Angel cake? Well, hey, a strawberry shortcake. What are you doing on this train? I was just going to ask you. Oh, here's my ticket. Thank you, miss. Well, what are you doing here? I read about the most amazing job in a magazine. I'm going for an interview. Can you believe it? Oh, maybe. Where is it? The Berry Prairie Dude Ranch. Ah, uh, yeah. I was afraid you were going to say that. That's where I'm going, too. That's fantastic, Strawberry. What fun this will be. Oh, wait. There's only one job, isn't there? Hmm. But so what? We're friends, right? Whoever gets the job, well, that's the way it is, and no hard feelings, right? 
Right. It's not a competition. No way. Hello. I'm Annie Oatmeal. Welcome to the Berry Prairie Dude Ranch. You must be here about the job. I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and this is... Angel Cake. And may I say, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Annie. When will we start the interviews? Well, how about now? Who goes first? You go ahead, Angel Cake. Well, okay. How'd it go? What'd you say? Who gets the job? She said she'll be out to talk to us in a few minutes. Girls, I've made up my mind. I've decided to hire... You both. Really? I want each of you to head up a bunkhouse. All right! Come with me. The dudes will be here soon. This is the mess hall. You'll help fix and serve all the meals in here. Let's take a look around outside. What's that? Oh, that. Just a little thing we used to do a while back. What was that, Annie? We used to have a contest to choose which bunkhouse had the best ranch hand. Each bunkhouse was a team. We'd have a few contests. Horse grooming, chili cooking, trail riding, that sort of thing. Why did you stop? Some of the girls got so caught up in trying to win, they forgot they were here to have fun. Kinda ruined it for the rest of us. Maybe you could do it again with us. I don't know. When you're trying to win a contest, it's easy to forget that you're here to have fun. That's what's most important. Oh, please, Annie. We won't get carried away. We'll remember to have fun. Right, Strawberry? Well, um, I suppose so. Guess we could give it one more try. All right. Come on now. Let's see the rest of the ranch. I think you're going to like it here. What will we be doing? Just about everything. Grooming the horses, milking the cows, driving the tractor, pushing the plows. It's a lot of long, hard work, but still it's fun down on the ranch, down on the ranch. Feeding the chickens, slapping the hogs, picking some apples, splitting some logs. You may get a little dirty, but who cares? Down on the ranch, down on the ranch. Grab a hoe or rake and roll up both your sleeves. And you'll find that more starts changing than the leaves. Cause with every job well done or every chore, you'll end up a better You'll be roping and riding, hitting the trails. Then when it's over, you'll have some tales. All about how you have had the time of your life. Down on the ranch, down on the ranch. So start grooming the horses, we can do that. Milking the cows, we can do that. Driving the tractor, not a problem. Pushing the plows, in no time flat. And we'll jump right in and never make a fuss. Cause living down on the ranch, that's the life for us. Time to rise, time to shine. Now today's our big day. The dudes arrive this morning, so you two better get dressed and get ready to meet the guests. Welcome to Berry Prairie Dude Ranch. Oh. I'd like you to meet your ranch hands, Strawberry and Angel Cake. What a nice surprise. Strawberry Shortcake. And Angel Cake too. Oh, hey, hi, hi amigas. Didn't know we'd see you here. Lemon meringue, blueberry muffin, banana candy. You'll be in Strawberry's bunkhouse. And apricot, watermelon kiss, rainbow sherbet, tangerina torta. You'll be with Angel Cake. All of you will find your team vests on your bunks. Please wear them to the trials. 
I like the sounds of my team. Some real competitors. Is this everybody? Ow! <laughs> oh. What? Huh? What's happening? Is she okay? Did she fall? Whoa, she's a clumsy one. Are you all right, Plum Pudding? With her in Strawberry's bunkhouse, I'll win Best Ranch Hand for sure! Lemon Meringue, you'll be riding Daffodil. Blueberry, you'll get Old Buttercup. I think Sunflower is right for you, Apricot. And for you, Plum Pudding. Yes? Ah! I think I'll pair you up with this horse over here. This is Thunder. Now Thunder's the friendliest horse you're ever gonna meet. He likes a rider who's smart and in control. A rider who knows where she's going. You two will get along just fine. Okay, let's get started. Hello, the there, the Thunder. Easy, Thunder. N nice horsey. <laughs> hey, I think you two are gonna get along. Right. Come on, Thunder. Over here. I mean, that way. To the right. No, your other right. I mean... <laughs> Whoa! And one more thing. What's that? He loves to jump. Huh? Achy! Are you sure that's the right horse for her? Don't worry. Thunder knows what he's doing. Now we'll start the big chili cook-off. Keep stirring, Rainbow Sherbert. Watermelon, make sure that fire stays hot. Mmm, <gasps> smells very good. How do you think it's doing? Mmm, could use a little more chili powder, I think. Plum pudding, can you handle that? Sure thing, Strawberry. Oh, careful. Yikes, sorry about that. Plum pudding! Oh, shoot! Hey, it's okay. We all make mistakes, right? But not as many as she does. Okay, time's up. Let's see how you've done. Mmm, that's delicious! Oh, Annie, we have to warn you. <coughs> Hot, 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 hot! <sighs> Looks like we win. Yeah! All right. Hey, we'll get the next one, right? Huh? Good girl. No, that's not right. Having a little trouble, Plum Pudding? I just can't get this right. Whoa, that's not the right look for Thunder. She's right. We'll never win at this rate. <laughs> Plum, wait! <laughs> Plum Pudding, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Everything's fine. You gotta remember, Plum. Everybody's learning every day. When I first came to this ranch, I hardly knew a cow from a sheep. Really? But I took it one day at a time, and I learned. Same as you will. Just have a little faith in yourself. I have faith in you. Why shouldn't you? You gotta focus on the fun. Don't worry about getting it wrong now and then. Okay, Annie, I'll try. Everything set, Lemon Meringue? Yep, ready to go. <laughs> Remember, Thunder lacks a rider who's in control. Okay, easy now, easy. Looks like we're gonna win this challenge, too. <sighs> uh, I think we both know what the problem is. Yeah, the problem is Plum Pudding. 
There's no way we'll win that trophy. Not with her on our team. Strawberry, we need to talk about Plum Pudding. She's a... she's a sort of, well, a disaster. We'll never win with her on the team. But we're here for more than that, aren't we? We're here to have a good time and to help our friends have a good time, too. Think how you'd feel if Plum Pudding wanted you off the team. I wouldn't feel too good. Don't worry about the contest. We're going to have fun, no matter who wins. And now it's time for the best part of your stay at the Berry Prairie Ranch, the Big Trail Ride. Here's a chance to show me all you've learned so far. We about ready? Hold on. Where's Plum Pudding? Plum Pudding, what are you doing? I'm leaving. But why? Look, the other dudes think I'm a disaster, and they're right. I talked to them. They just lost sight of why we're here. They understand now. We're here to have fun. We want you to have fun too, okay? Come on, let's go for a trail ride with the others. Okay. You'll make a circle back to the ranch. Remember, it's not a race. I want to see how your teams handle their horses. Got it. I won't be far behind. And be sure to stay out of Peppercorn Pass. It's not safe up there. How come you turned this way, Angel Cake? You know, if we cut through there, we could pick up some time. Well, yeah, but like Annie said, it isn't a race. No, but think how impressed she'd be. Whoever comes in first is going to win this thing. And we want to win, don't we, Team Angel Cake? Follow me, dudes. Hiya! Aren't we going to? No, Lemon. That's Peppercorn Pass, and Annie said stay away from there. But if we don't, their team's gonna win. Remember what we said? We're here to have fun. Yeah, but it'd be fun to win a trophy, too. Come on! I'm with you, Lemon Meringue. Hold on, you two! We can't let them go up there alone. Let's go after them. Come on! We were trying to find Angel Cake, but they got too far ahead of us. We don't know which way they went. Looks like they went that way. Headed right into Peppercorn Pass, just like I told them not to. They got so carried away with winning, they forgot to use good sense. Looks like the end of the trail. Um, yeah. We're lost, aren't we? Um, yeah. What do we do now? Well, when I'm lost, I like to yell for help! 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 Strawberry, what are you doing here? We're looking for you. Well, we went the wrong way. Come on, let's turn and go back. I don't like the sound of that. Look up there. <gasps> Is everybody okay? Yeah. Okay. Now how do we get out of here? Hey, is that you guys are here over there? Plum Pudding, are we glad to hear you. Can you help us, Plum? We're stuck over here. Can you go for help? You're our only hope. Plum's our only hope? We are doomed. Yeah, no problem. Stay right there. Hurry, Plum Pudding. What just happened? It, it's okay. Come 
on, Thunder, you can handle this, can't you? <laughs> This horse loves to jump! Well, here's a nice mess. How'd you get out there, Strawberry? It was my fault, Annie. I got us out here. I was thinking about winning that trophy. I'm sorry. I think we can take care of this. Come on, Plum Puddin'. Thank me. Thank Plum Puddin'. Yeah, thanks, Plum. We'd still be up there if it wasn't for you. It's true. Thank you, Plum Puddin'. Yeah, thanks. I said some awful things, and I'm very sorry. Hey, everybody makes mistakes, and you're okay now. That's what matters. Come on now, let's get going. What are we gonna do after this, Annie? We're gonna go back and have ourselves some fun. Peach tree blossoms and the berry vines roam. Giddy up, little ponies, and get along. While we sing this going home song. We got off the trail and lost our way. We took some wrong turns and we went astray. But we put our heads together and now we're okay. So it's time we all get along home. Giddy up, little ponies. Plum Pudding. Way to go, Plum! You really were! Big thumbs up! That's for sure! So, who wins the trophy, Annie? <sighs> I don't think it'll go to a whole team this time. I think it'll go to Plum Pudding. Yay! 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 Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! I went a little overboard, didn't I, Strawberry? Maybe a little. Well, it's never gonna happen again. From now on, I'm gonna remember. It's all about friends having fun with friends, right? Right!